What's up, everyone? So I think the goal in this pandemic for all of us is to help, right? And any small way that we can. And for me, having a platform like this and having all of you following me means the world to me. And I want to, of course, help you guys in the best way I can. And I think one of the biggest things is people who are applying to medical school right now, AMCAS 2020, there's just so many moving variables. And I have a bunch of free resources that I just wanted to share with you guys and pretty much make sure that you have what you need to get through an already crazy, crazy cycle. So this video is going to be about all the free resources and just showing you what's out there that you can use to kind of make things a bit easier. So with that being said, let's get to it on the small screen. way back in the day when I started this YouTube channel, my whole goal was to increase educational accessibility. And so I made a bunch of videos that, you know, now are a bit outdated because I'm already so far into med school. But what I did was take those videos and kind of a, uh, compile them into this document so that they were pretty much here for anyone who wants to use them. I've broken things up by, you know, what you should watch before starting AMCAS if you have questions about the AMCAS application. Then I have videos on what you should watch as you're finishing and doing your AMCAS application, because I know there's a lot of questions there. And then I have a section on what to watch after you finish your AMCAS application when you're preparing for secondaries, when you're preparing to write the diversity question, how are you diverse, how are you unique, um, and even just general tips about um, essay writing. And after that, I also have a bunch of videos about the interviews. Some inter some schools have the MMIs. What is an MMI? Some schools have traditional interviews. What are some tips for the traditional interview? So I have all of those. And if you aren't even applying right now, but you need help with the MCAT, I have a whole series on free MCAT questions that I made that I hope you find helpful. And I also have general tips and tricks about the MCAT. Um, note being that I took the old MCAT, but I think a lot of the stuff that I used will still translate on. And of course, I have general additional videos. So if you end up interviewing at particular schools, I've logged every school that I interviewed at. And also some other general <laughs> fun videos are, you know, how to have a successful gap year if you're having a gap year, uh, top 15 misconceptions about the medical school process, and um, why you should apply to Yale, because that's where I go. So I'm going to walk you through each of these one by one, but feel free to go ahead and look, refer to the description time links, uh, where it'll show you where I talk about each of these videos. So let's get to it. So let me first start with this section. These are all videos to watch before you even start your AMCAS application for medical school. These are primarily because these videos will give you an overview of what to expect. So the first video is about what I had wished I had known when I was applying to medical school. I applied and there's so many things you learn in the process that you can't really put into words until afterwards. So this was a video I made to kind of reflect on that and hopefully give you guys insights that I did not have. The second video is an insider look at the admissions school t uh, timeline. So from the day the cycle begins, which for 2020 is drastically different, to the day you get your acceptance, what can you expect? When can you expect interviews? When can you expect secondaries? When can you expect you know changes to the cycle? This video gives you a timeline of the whole thing. It's 20 minutes long, but just watch it uh, pretty fast, and I think that's a over great overview. Um, and these last two videos are pretty much about how much I paid for medical school applications. A lot of people go into this process not knowing how much you're going to pay, and this video will really help break down how much you'll end up paying depending on how many schools. For example, I applied to about 25 schools, and I actually ended up paying about $7,500, right? But if you want to get an insight into how I made these calculations, watch both of these videos because I think having this in the back of your head will help you plan appropriately for how to apply. Okay, the next section I want to go over are these two sections. What you should do when you are actually filling out your AMCAS application, and then what to do after. Because the AMCAS application in and of itself is really long. Mine was about 20 pages. So how do you even go about filling that out? And then the next set of videos is about what you do after submitting your AMCAS application, prepping for secondaries, and you know getting ready for certain questions. So let me go over these videos. The first one is I show you my entire AMCAS application. So many people email me to see my AMCAS application. I have an entire video, including my GPA, including my AMCAT, including all my details about my pre-med life, and they're right here. So if you want to see what an AMCAS application looks like, read some of my activity descriptions, they're in this video. Then we have a video about personal statement. After writing a pretty mediocre personal statement, I've kind of refined and understood what makes personal statements great. And um, this video is all about those tips that I learned from my mentors about making great personal statements. So personal statement and AMCAS address what to do as you're filling out your AMCAS application. But after you're done, 
Here are some tips about what to expect. One, how to prepare for secondaries. You are going to get onslaughts of secondaries. How do you prepare for them? Should you pre-write them? What questions can you expect? How can you pre-write them? Can you reuse your answers? I address all of those questions in this video, so you should watch it. Next up, we have how to answer the diversity question. So for those of you who don't know, almost every school will ask some level of what makes you unique? Why are you different? How will you contribute to our med school's diversity? And this question is all about how to address the diversity question. So I personally recommend you watch it because it's a great one and I think I've gotten some good feedback about it. And last one is five easy ways to just improve your writing in general. Using active voice, you know, all these tips that I've accumulated, I have kind of just included in this video. So feel free to use this if you're just looking for advice on college application or even just application tips. All right, and now let's move on to the next set of videos. The next set of videos I have are all about interviews. So uh, once you finish your secondaries, once you've submitted your MCAS, you will now start getting interview invites. How can you prepare for them? I have a bunch of videos on these, and this is again really um, free. Use it as much as you need. So here's the first video. It talks about the MMI. What is the MMI? A bunch of schools do these things called multiple mini interviews, and I walk you through exactly what that is. Then I talk about the different question types that are present on the MMI and whether or not you can benefit from knowing them and how you can prep for them and some useful websites to prep for them. Then I talk about five tips for just general medical school interviews. So this is more traditional one-on-one. -on -one. Um, what tips can you, you know, act on? How can you be ready for one-on-one -on -one interviews? So that's here. And then I also have a nice video on how to write in the area emails. You may not know what in the area emails are now, but I promise you later on in this application cycle, you will. So when you want to learn more about them, here's a lovely video for that. Now, let's talk a bit more about the other videos on my lovely document. All right, and this next set of videos is all about the MCAT. So this is talking about all you need to kind of destroy the MCAT. I have a video on if the MCAT is even relevant to medical school and how you can learn the MCAT so that you can have motivation to study it because parts of it are very relevant to medical school. And of course, at the very end, I have this whole shlebang of questions. So my very first uh, motivation to come onto YouTube was like creating science questions. So I created like a question a day, a bunch of MCAT questions. And the whole point of this was to kind of give people a free way to do MCAT questions, but also walk you through the reasoning for a lot of the difficult questions that exist. And last but not least, I have a bunch of videos about how to have a gap year if you're taking a gap year. I also have an all-in-one video that encompasses over 15 misconceptions that people have while applying to medical school. I made this video with one of my Yale Med School classmates, Yaakov, and um, the whole point of this was to kind of dispel a bunch of misconceptions. So you'll see that here I've kind of listed all of them. You know, like, do you need to be published to get into medical school? Um, should you submit right away? What's the benefit of submitting early? Should you be doing all of these things or not? Um, and then the last one is why you should apply to Yale because I would love it to have more of you come to Yale Med. I really do think it's a very special place. Um, so this video is all about what I like about Yale, uh, five big things that really separate Yale as an institution and medical school from other medical schools. And one of the reasons why I've found my medical school experience to be so fulfilling. Before I sign off here, I do also want to point out that I have a bunch of interview vlogs. So I've interviewed at a bunch of medical schools, and uh, of the medical schools that I interviewed at, I actually vlogged my experiences at a handful of them, including like Mayo Clinic, Harvard, Yale, Northwestern, UCSD, UC Davis. So feel free to watch those videos if you want to get an insight into, well, what are these schools even like? What, how do I get there? You know, those kinds of things. Um, and the last thing I'll mention is if you're not already join my Facebook AMCAS group. It's again, totally free. Nothing I ever do really costs money. Um, but the whole point is I run that group with about six or seven very, very close friends, all of whom are in medical school or starting medical school and have a passion for answering questions and making sure we're all on the same page. I know this application cycle is going to be really tough because there's just so many moving parts, but I hope this video was helpful and giving you a free guide to at least addressing it and getting your questions answered. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, um, give this to other friends because as I said, I think we could all benefit from help. And um, the more we help each other, the more we can get through this difficult time. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.